Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chonzo. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 13th of July. Two terrorists killed in an encounter in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir. Afghan president spokesperson Siddiqui says Taliban must join peace process in real way. And that toll from Nepal floods and landslides rises. And now for all the details. Floods have ravaged India's northeastern Assam and eastern Bihar provinces, where more than 40 persons have lost their lives. Flood water entered houses in both the provinces in the last 24 hours, forcing thousands out of homes on boats and rafts. Flood water entered houses in India's eastern Bihar province in the last 24 hours, forcing thousands out of homes on boats and rafts. Part of a dike collapsed in Sidamari district near Nepal border after eroding due to heavy rains on Monday, threatening to flood a whole village. Several rivers in North Bihar are now overflowing because of the rain. Due to this, the chances of potential flooding have increased in several districts. हमारी आसपास की आबादी है उसकी इवैक्यूएशन के लिए हमारी नावें पूरी तरीके से तैयार हैं इसलिए अभी फिलहाल चिंता की कोई बात नहीं Earlier on Sunday people were seen evacuating from their homes on boats as water entered houses in northeastern Assam province The flood situation is worse in the province as National Disaster Response Force or NDRF was called in for rescue operations in the flood affected areas Intense rainfall over the past few weeks has led to the Brahmaputra River and its tributaries to flow above the injured level in different parts of the province. Assam, famous for its tea plantations, is hit by seasonal flooding each year, forcing the province and the federal governments to spend millions of rupees on flood control. Two terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based jaish e mohammed terror group were neutralized by security forces in an encounter in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory on Monday. This comes a day after three terrorists linked to another Pakistan-based lashkar e taiba terror group were killed in a similar gunfight in Baramulla district. Two terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based jaish e mohammed group were neutralized by security forces in an encounter in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. According to local police, the encounter between the security forces and the terrorists began early Monday morning in Anantnag's Sri Kupwara area. Arms and ammunition were also recovered from the encounter site. Earlier in the intervening night of July 11 and 12, three terrorists linked to Pakistan-based lashkar e taiba group were also killed in a similar encounter in Jammu and Kashmir's Baramulla district. According to officials, arms and ammunition which were seized from the slain terrorists showed that they were planning a big attack in Kashmir Valley. India accuses Pakistan of sheltering and training terrorists to use as proxy to mount attacks on Indian soil. Islamabad denies the charges. Pakistan's number of coronavirus cases on Monday crossed the 250,000 mark after 2,769 new infections were detected in the last 24 hours. Amid rising number of cases, Pakistan's National Command and Control Center on Monday decided to allow cattle markets to operate only between 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. ahead of Eid ul Azha festival. Pakistan's number of coronavirus cases on Monday rose to 251,625 after 2,769 new infections were detected in the last 24 hours. According to the Ministry of National Health Services, 69 more persons died, taking the death toll to 5,226. Over 1.5 million tests have been conducted, including 22,532 in the last 24 hours. 
Amid rising cases, the head of Eidi Foundation, Faisal Eidi, said the number of coronavirus cases in Pakistan is way more than the figures provided by the government. But social stigma has forced people to avoid taking the test. बहुत सारे अभी भी जो है वो हालांकि पता नहीं गवर्नमेंट तो कहती है कि हम रोज के 25,000, 30,000 टेस्ट कर रहे हैं लेकिन मुझे समझ नहीं आता किसके टेस्ट कर रहे हैं लोग जिनको टेस्ट करवाना है वो इधर उधर भाग रहे होते हैं एक हॉस्पिटल से दूसरे हॉस्पिटल दूसरे से तीसरे हॉस्पिटल उनको सही तरह रिस्पॉन्स नहीं मिलता इसलिए जो है वो फिर वो टेस्ट भी नहीं करवाते मीन वाइल पाकिस्तान नेशनल कमांड एंड कंट्रोल सेंटर ऑन मंडे डिसाइडेड टू अलाउ कैटल मार्केट टू ऑपरेट ओनली बिटवीन सिक्स ए एम टू सेवन पी एम ahead of Eid ul-Adha or Eid ul-Adha the festival of sacrifice earlier the ministry of national health services issued standard operating procedures or sops for mitigation of spread of person to person transmission of covid-19 to general public including the buyers and sellers of animals during Eid ul-Adha Eid ul-Adha will be celebrated on July 31st in Pakistan according to the Islamic calendar Sri Lanka has again started reporting a surge in coronavirus cases days after it lifted its month long lockdown declaring there was no longer any community spread of infection with the new wave of virus total covid-19 cases tally in the island nation has now reached 2617 After lifting its coronavirus lockdown in late June, Sri Lanka has again started witnessing a surge in positive cases from across the country. Authorities over the new virus wave have decided to postpone the international airport's reopening, which was due in early August, and schools which reopened almost after 3 months last week. As part of the precautionary measures, the country's ruling SLPP party on Sunday also called off its rallies ahead of the upcoming parliamentary elections. The elections were to be held on April 25th but were postponed twice before being rescheduled for August. Sri Lanka, a country of 21 million, lifted its coronavirus lockdown last month after declaring that there was no longer any community spread of the deadly virus. The country's total COVID-19 cases tally has reached 2,617, with at least 11 deaths so far. In news from Afghanistan, Afghan Presidential Palace spokesperson Siddiq Siddiqui has criticized the Taliban for the escalation of violence in the country. He argued the Taliban must enter the peace process in a real way. Afghan Presidential Palace spokesman Sadiq Sadiqui on Sunday criticized the Taliban for the escalation of violence and argued the Taliban must enter the peace process in a realistic way. Taking to Twitter, Sadiqui said the group's violence in cities, attacks on security forces, roadside bombings and targeting government employees have damaged the hopes and expectations of the people and it is time for the Taliban to renounce violence and enter the peace process in a real way. Meanwhile Taliban spokesman Zabibullah Mujahid in a series of tweets said irresponsible statements and accusations will not solve the problem the process of releasing the prisoners must be completed as soon as possible intra afghan negotiations must begin violence and war continue to grip the afghans despite international calls for a reduction of violence in the country moving on to news from nepal Floods and landslides triggered by heavy rains in Nepal have killed over 60 people and 41 have gone missing in past one week. The country's western Myadi district remains the worst affected with 27 deaths where search and rescue operations are still underway. Floods and landslides triggered by heavy rains in various parts of Nepal have killed at least 61 people and 41 have gone missing in the past one week. Myangri district of western Nepal is the worst affected with 27 deaths where search and rescue operations are underway with officials and police personnel hundreds of displaced people have also been shifted to buildings of local schools and community centers Nepal's meteorological forecasting division last week had warned heavy downpour in the Himalayan nation and had warned of monsoon to be near the low pressure line in various parts causing rainfall around the country पैलो 
Landslides and flash floods are a common occurrence in mountainous Nepal during the June to September monsoon every year. The total number of COVID-19 cases in Bangladesh rose to 183,795 on Monday. A senior health ministry official, Nasima Sultana, in a briefing in capital Dhaka said that 2,666 new COVID-19 positive cases and 47 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours across Bangladesh. The COVID-19 fatality rate in Bangladesh is now 1.28% against the total number of detected cases so far in the country. The total number of recovered patients in the country now stands at 93,614, including a record high of 5,580 on Sunday. The current recovery rate is 50.93%. Bangladesh recorded the highest 4,019 cases in a 24-hour period on July 2nd. Moving on, with the face marks being an essential part of daily attires now amid the coronavirus outbreak, a jewellery shop in Western India has come up with a mask studded with diamonds to attract the customers looking for uniqueness. A jewellery shop in Surat city of India's western Gujarat province is selling face masks studded with diamonds worth thousands of dollars. Owner of the jewellery shop thought of adding bling to the protective gear that has become the part of everyone's life due to the coronavirus pandemic. The masks are studded with American or lab-grown and real diamonds and cost between 1,995 to 5,322 US dollars. क्योंकि लोगों को आज आगे जाके मास्क की रिक्वायरमेंट रहने वाली है जिसमें हमने गोल के साथ में अमेरिकन डायमंड को भी यूज किया हुआ है और गोल के साथ में रियल डायमंड को भी यूज किया हुआ है जो गोल के साथ में अमेरिकन डायमंड का जो मास्क है वो अप्रोक्सीमेट 1.5 लाख के आसपास का है और जो रियल डायमंड का है वो करीबन 4 लाख के आसपास का है द मास्क आर ऑलरेडी ग्रैबिंग द आईबॉल्स ऑफ सम कस्टमर्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द यूनिक प्रोडक्ट तो मैंने मेरा सडनली ध्यान यहां पे रियल डायमंड के मास्क पे गया जो मुझे ज्वेलरी से भी ज्यादा अट्रैक्टिव लगे तो मैंने वो मास्क देखे और मुझे पसंद आ गए और मेरे आउटफिट के साथ भी एकदम बैठ रहे थे तो मैंने वो मास्क की खरीदी की कि मैं सबसे ज्यादा यूनिक लगूं गुजरात सूरत सिटी इज लोकली नोन एज द डायमंड सिटी बिकॉज़ इट हैंडल्स 90% ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स रफ डायमंड कटिंग एंड पॉलिशिंग वेल दैट्स द वे इट वाज इन साउथ एशिया दिस इवनिंग बिफोर वी कंक्लूड द टॉप स्टोरीज वंस अगेन Two terrorists killed in an encounter in Anantnag district of India's Jammu and Kashmir. Afghan president spokesperson Siddiqui says Taliban must join peace process in real way. And then toll from Nepal starts and landslides rises. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.